Hi everybody, this is Linnea for Miss Ink Stamps. This whole week, Miss Ink Stamps is collaborating with ThermoWeb. So there will be blog posts featuring both companies on both the Miss Ink Stamps blog as well as the ThermoWeb blog. I grabbed a few of my favorite products from both companies and I'm going to make a really pretty card today, I think, anyway. So from Miss Ink Stamps, I'm going to be using the medium polka dot stencil and the Gardenia stamp set, as well as the Ocean Waves Dazzle Dust. I just love Dazzle Dust, and I'm going to be using that with some Thermoweb Deco Foil Transfer Gel Blanco to create a fun background. So I'm starting here with the medium polka dot stencil. You could spray the back of this with pixie spray, but since there's a lot of kind of the, the actual stencil parts, I'm going to just use some purple tape instead to hold this onto the back of my cardstock. So I'll flip everything over and just use a couple strips of purple tape right at the back of my cardstock to adhere that to my stencil. Purple tape is pressure activated, so you want to make sure to just give that a little bit of a press and you can see here that it's adhered and it's not going anywhere. Then I'm going to just grab some of the Deco Foil Transfer Gel Blanco. This is going to dry white, which is what I want. I'm using it on gray cardstock and I'm going to scoop some of this out. And then I'll use a stencil palette, which is just like a wide uh, palette knife. And I'm going to spread this over the whole medium polka dot stencil. The stencil palette is great because it allows you to get nice, even coverage. I'm just going to scrape it across until all those little circles are filled in. And then I'll give it one last even kind of swipe across. And then I will just remove this and set this aside. But usually you would set it aside to dry, but before it dries, this is when I'm going to bring in that Ocean Waves Dazzle Dust. I love the Dazzle Dust from Miss Ink Stamps. They are kind of like color shifting glitters, so pretty. I have a piece of scrap paper there, and I did use an anti-static powder tool. I find that helps the glitter to not stick to it, so I can put it back into the container a little bit easier. And I'm going to dump this onto about the bottom half of my cardstock, so it gets pretty good and covered in that um, Deco Foil Transfer Gel Blanco. And then I'm picking some up with my fingers and kind of sprinkling it so it has that faded effect. So there's just a little bit of glitter, or there's no glitter at the top, then a little bit of glitter, and then full coverage. Now I will set that aside to dry. It won't take long, probably about 30, 45 minutes. So while that dries, I will color up the Gardenia stamp set from Miss Ink Stamps. I'm going to color the Gardenia's white. So I will be using C3, C2, C0, and a colorless blender to color. I'm just going to show you how I color one of the flowers and then one of the leaves because my coloring really is quite simple. I like to start with my darkest color, then go to my medium, and then my light to blend everything together. But color how you feel comfortable. You could also start with your lightest marker and then go to the medium and then the dark and then color backwards again. But I find that it's easiest and I get the same results going from dark to light. I'm going to use a C5 marker to fill in the center of the flower just so that it has a little bit of darkness right at the center. For the leaves, I'm using YG17, YG25, and YG23. And again, coloring the same exact way. I'm going to start with my darkest marker, the YG17 and add little lines where I think it should be darkest. And then I'll color over those lines with my medium marker, and then I will color over the whole leaf with my lightest marker to blend all of those colors together. Once my coloring was done, I just used my scissors to fussy cut around the lines and leave a little bit of a white border so that I could add this to my card. My background is pretty dry, so I'm just going to press on each of these little circles just to kind of press the glitter in so it doesn't rub off. And then I'm going to continue on with assembling the card. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a paintbrush. Any of the loose glitter that kind of got knocked off, I will knock the rest of that off. When you add the glitter over the top of the cardstock, um, it kind of sticks to other places, and that's one of the reasons why I didn't use the pixie spray, was because I didn't want it to stick in between the stenciled areas. So I just use a paintbrush and knock that off there. I wanted to have a die cut sentiment across the front of my card with a little bit of texture, so I grabbed the Blue Diamond Deco Foil Flock Transfer Sheets. 
The flock transfer sheets, you can die cut just like cardstock, but it will have a little bit of a fuzzy texture to it and a little bit of dimension from that. So I'm going to cut off a piece just larger than my thanks die, and then I'll run this through my die cutting machine just like I would a piece of cardstock, and it's going to give me a cute little sentiment with some texture. I also cut this out a few times from some white cardstock so I could layer it up and offset it on my final card. But check this out, isn't that so pretty? I love that color. I'm gonna start arranging things how I want them to go here. And as I start adding things to my card, I'm going to use some thermal web adhesives. So I have some uh, iCraft 3D foam squares in the easy dispenser box, and I'll add these all over the back of that gardenia image and then I will add that onto my card. I'm also going to be using the iCraft Ultra Bond Liquid Adhesive Pen just to add a little dot of liquid adhesive at the back of those foam squares since I'm adding this onto something textured with the Dazzle Dust as well as the Blanco Gel. I'll use that same Ultra Bond Liquid Adhesive Pen to adhere my sentiment and add that to the front of the card. And this card is pretty much done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember that this is part of the Miss Ink stamps and Thermal Web collaboration. So all week long, you're going to get inspiration from both teams using products from both companies. And there are giveaways on the blog. So you wanna make sure that you head over to the Miss Ink stamps blog and comment on this post, as well as all the other posts on both the Thermal Web and the Miss Ink stamps blog during the collaboration week to be eligible to win some prizes. Thank you guys again very much for watching this video. I hope that you were inspired and you found some new ways to use products from both of these fabulous companies. Thank you guys. I will see you again in another video. Bye. Thank you again very much for watching this video. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button that is on the screen now. And here are a few other videos that I thought you might enjoy.